Alphas. Bobby Lashley has signed with AEW. This according to Fightful Select. Dot com Sean Rossap. They have reported that Bobby Shelton, MVP, as of a couple of weeks ago, all signed with AEW. And it looks like we're getting Bobby Lashley in AEW soon. Kenny Bomb. Let me hear it. We're getting Bobby Lashley and we got Wrestle Dream around the corner. We got this little thing with Swerve Strickland. What are you thinking? Did AEW mm. come here? That's what I do care about. I think this is actually very interesting. Bobby Lashley and all the guys from the Hurt Business. Um, I think it's a good move by Tony Khan. You know, we need more big guys in AEW, I'll say. Because, you know, you have some kind of scrawny men in there. But, I mean, you could put Bobby Lashley in a position just like Brock Lesnar, just like he should have been putting in WWE. Will they do that? I don't think so. But it could be interesting because these are more WWE guys coming in to join possibly John Moxley's WWE crew. So, hey, AEW is very exciting right now, and I think Bobby Lashley, um, it's going to be a big win for them. Brian, initial reactions. Bobby Lashley looks like he's all elite. Um, I mean, we'll see what he does, bro. I don't know. I mean, AEW got this thing with signing talent, bro, so we'll see how it goes, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I just hope that he doesn't get lost in a shuffle, and I hope other people don't lose uh, time at the expense of him that probably deserve the time. You know what I mean? It's one of those yeah. things where it's like, it's like it's cool, but it's not at the same time. Like you want to see what he does in a company, but you also know that somebody you know that's young is gonna lose time, and you know we might not see him on TV because there people get lost in a shuffle all the time. Again, though, it's like I'm I'm hoping it does well, though. I mean, it looks like their their thing is coming to fruition because MVP has been. Uh, just going in and, and crashing crashing out on everybody in creative and WWE because they didn't keep that group together. So you can only hope that now they, they really get the show because one thing about it, bro, when you go and talk that much smack, I feel like you really now, you really got to, if you put in a spot to to make that spot and that, that situation happen again, you really got to make it count, bro, when you was talking all of that. So I'm hoping that, that, that it sticks and it works out for them. You know, I do agree with you, though, with, getting lost in the shuffle, you know. We've seen that in AEW. We've seen it in WWE. I mean, poor Cody Rhodes. He went to WWE. He's lost in all the shuffle. Man, no matter matters. He's the third. He's the third most important person at Bad Blood, potentially. But, no. All seriousness, I think it's a good move for AEW. Not only because it keeps things fresh. You're getting the highlight, like, the Hurt Business, which was a very successful group in WWE. But I also think, like, the faction stuff works a lot better in AEW than it does in WWE in that, like, you can have, like, multiple factions. There's, like, a, like, and, but, like, it doesn't tie people down, right? Like, you got the Blackpool Combat Club at, at a certain point. They were all kind of a faction together, but they were all doing their own thing. They had their own fuse. They were, like, doing whatever. Same thing with other groups like the Inner Circle in the past, the Pinnacle, etc. And... I think here they got a chance to do something big, make a big splash initially, redefine who the Hurt Business, or in this case, the Hurt Syndicate are, and bring some young talent along for the ride. And I think the end goal here should be not only is Swerve, I think, going to have a match with Bobby, like that's going to be a pay-per-view level match, but at the same time, I think the end goal should be whoever ends up joining if it's like a young guy whether it's like a will hobbs or whoever right the end goal should be building up to a big match between them and bobby lashley and i think will hobbs would be a perfect guy for this powerhouse hobbs you want to prove that you're a powerhouse you want to prove that you're everything you claim to be the strongest big man in in wrestling today go out there and take that mantle Take that from the almighty Bobby Lashley, the original belt collector, the guy who came into WWE as the next big thing, as who then got his title taken away from him by Vince McMahon. We don't talk about that. Um, <laughs> but I think there's a lot of cool things they could do here. But Kenny, I want to hear from you. We're going to Wrestle Dream. There's no segment announced as of yet, but Darby Allen's got an open challenge and it is in Swerve's hometown. What do you think is going to happen? Did we get Dude, Bobby at Russell Dream? It's pretty crazy, man, because Darby Allen's, Darby Allen's got an open challenge. They can't bring somebody out there to squash him because the original plan was for him to actually win the AT&T, AT the AEW championship at this pay-per-view, and they scrapped it. So 
To have somebody come out there and squash him, I think that's a bad move. Unless he gets like jumped and beat down by everybody in this hurt business or syndicate, whatever they're going to call it. So that's going to be interesting. And Swerve versus Bobby, that'll be an interesting matchup there as well. Because who wins? Swerve just took a loss to Brian Danielson on a big stage. Um, so do you have Bobby Lashley just come in there and wash him too? I don't know if that's a good idea either, but Bobby Lashley can't come in and lose his first match because, as I stated earlier, he is a bigger guy. So I think you're going to want to make him come in there and squash a lot of the smaller guys. So I don't know where they're going with this, but they're going to have to play it right because, like Brian said, you know, sometimes you don't want to kind of put – you don't want to squash your younger talent. It's mm. fine to beat them, but you want to make them look good. So I don't know. It, it is a tough space. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. Brian, you got any thoughts on how you would want to see Bobby debut in AEW? Um, uh, I guess not. I'm, bro, I, I'm like, <laughs> I'm happy for him, but I'm not interested if that makes sense. I don't know. Like, Bobby Lashley is a hell of a wrestler, hell of a star. I just don't know who he could go against in AEW that I would be like, mm, I want to watch that. We're circling. Oh, Powerhouse Hobbs. We're Will Ospreay, that's a different dynamic for a Bobby. I mean, bro, uh, the thing is, bro, I watch Bobby in TNA Kendall or not. Like, what is does does Bobby wrestle the exact same way he did in TNA? No, uh, or in WWE? No, 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 no. He Bobby Lashley is capable of doing things faster. He's way more athletic than the WWE style getting curved. And everyone is right. Like, and this is not a knock. This is just like the way it's done. Right. WWE is a more, is a slower, it's simplified more show off. style. This is how it is. Right. I'm not saying it's good or bad. Yeah, yeah. Don't roast me in the comment section, people <laughs> or do, you know what? Leave a comment, defend WWE, stand up for him anyway. But it's a slower style. Like lastly on the Indies was still like the powerhouse and, and everything like that. But he was able to like do things quicker and, psychologically i think it made more sense because he's someone who was like athletic he was like a, he was like a he ran like a, i think it was a four something 40 he was like crazy back in the day so like he's a very athletic guy but I, i'm interested to see what like the if he still has that quickness at the age of 48 which look who am i to judge that because bobby lashley looks way better than i do and, and i'm like in my mid-20s right like it, it is what it is but it is a it is a faster you, you style. You're mid twenties now, big on. Come on. Hey now, oh, what you mean, oh Kenny? You're you're almost thirty, my boy. You getting old? Sheesh. Oh. But I will say this, fellas. I will say this. AEW is putting on some very exciting stuff. The promo, you know, I know we're not talking about this right now. John Moxley said um, the promo he's cut to close Dynamite. They about to cook, man. I don't know what's going on. We know the rumors, but I think with the Hurt Business coming in, you know, a potential Shane McMahon, John Moxley running this group, I think he's more interested right now, interesting right now than he was for a long time. So things are about to get real good in AEW. They are. And let us know in the comment section how excited you are. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and we're going to catch y'all. Make sure to go on ahead and subscribe to uh, Real Take Wrestling, and we're going to catch y'all.